What's up YouTube, welcome back finally to another airport update for Illinois Gateway International Airport. It has been a long time since the last update, I think the last one was back in August. So it's been a long time coming, apologize for the huge break with, between updates, but hopefully this one's worth the wait. So, got quite a lot of stuff happening, obviously in real life air travel is kind of rebounding now, more and more people are flying. Uh, matter of fact, I just came back from a trip a few days ago, went to, uh, did a day trip to Miami and back, four flights in one day, um, which was really fun, and I'll have the videos from that trip coming. Uh, we'll start probably right after this video, so they'll be coming really soon, I can't wait to share them all with you guys. So, yeah, more people are flying, more planes are taking to the skies, really exciting, and yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Starting with the runway, right here we got the Kalida Air Boeing 747-400 just on short finals coming in from Honolulu. And holding short here we got the United Express Embraer 170 and this will be taking off to Newark. Behind that is the American 737-800 going off to Phoenix, Arizona. And third in line is the American 777-300ER, the legendary November 735 Alpha Tango. Very same plane took me from Dallas to Hong Kong back in December. This is going to be headed off to London Heathrow today on an, uh, actually, yeah, all passenger flight because Americans been, uh, recently they restarted passenger service from Chicago to Heathrow with the 777-300ER. Really exciting. Uh, Chicago hasn't seen the American 777 in a long time. It's been mainly 787 for as long as I can remember for like the past year, um, but starting just earlier this month, American is going to be operating the 777-200ERs, 777-300ERs on uh, various routes. I think the 300 might, might be just on the Heathrow flight. I don't know, but um, in general, we're getting 777s back at Chicago, which is really exciting. All right, moving on with the cargo center. Here we got the UPS MD-11 freighter. Just came in from Louisville about an hour ago. It's going to continue down to Dallas-Fort Worth in about 45 minutes. Next it has the new American 777-200ER, and this is going to be operating an all-cargo flight to Frankfurt. About to push back soon. Just taxiing in. After arrival is the Frontier A320neo with Champ the Bronco on the tail. Just came from Denver. Then we got the empty Alaska gate back there. At the JetBlue gate we got the A320 with the uh, Sharklets and the Blueberries tail. Little focus. Uh, this just came in from New York JFK. It's going to go to Los Angeles in about an hour. And of course, JetBlue used to fly to Long Beach from here, but Long Beach is canceled from JetBlue's network. They left Long Beach last month, and all of their um, all of their operations at Long Beach are now consolidated at LAX. So that explains that. At the Southwest Gate, we got a 737-700, which just came in from Dal uh, Dallas Love Field. It's going to go to Houston Hobby, and pushing back out of the this one gate that's both Southwest and Frontier. Um, we got 737-700 in the Tennessee 1 colors. Uh, rightfully so, it's going to go down to Nashville, Tennessee. And it came in from Baltimore. Alright, now on to the other gates. Back there is a Spirit 398, Airbus A319. If it'll focus on the, on the 319, not the 321. Why you... Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, Spirit A319, this is going to go to... Just came in from, came in from Baltimore. It's going to go down to Dallas, Fort Worth. And then we have an A321, which is going to be operating to and from Fort Lauderdale. So Spirit's going to be, uh, they just started some new routes from here, which is good to see them expanding. Uh, it used to be Allegiant that was that was the major low-cost carrier here, but now it's Spirit, which uh, I honestly like Spirit a, bit, a little bit more than Allegiant, but everybody has their preferences. I can't actually, to be honest, I can't choose which one I like more, Allegiant, Spirit, or Frontier, because um, they're like the ultra ultra low cost uh, I can't decide which one I like more even though I've been on all three of them anyway Allegiant A320 
old livery. This just came in from uh, Orlando Sanford. It's gonna go back to Sanford in about 45 minutes. Sun Country 737-800, the newest player in the low-cost carrier game, operating to and from uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Volaris 8320neo came in from Mexico City. It's gonna go on to Guadalajara. Air Canada Embraer 175 uh, came in from Toronto. It's gonna go back to Toronto. Shout out my boys in Toronto. And then the CRD 900 Air Canada Express pushing back for uh, Montreal came in from Montreal as well. All right, now on to Terminal 2, which is American Airlines and uh, United and Delta and Hawaiian, but Hawaiian isn't here right now. Uh, American Eagle ERJ 145 um, flew two of these on Saturday, which is a fact nobody cares about. Anyway, Embry 145 just came from some small city, and uh, we're going to say that is Cleveland, and it's going to continue to... Uh, Indianapolis. I always like. I feel like I see the same cities every single time. And then the CRJ 700 just came from, uh, say Milwaukee for no reason, and it's going to continue to Cedar Rapids. I don't even know if they fly these there. I think it's the Ember 145, but Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Who cares? Okay. Here's the American Retro Livery 737 800 uh, and the Chrome Retro Livery, of course. And this one is going to be operating a flight to New York. LaGuardia came in from Boston. Okay. Oh, well, here's the PSA Retro A319 came in from uh, Washington Reagan. It's going to go to Charlotte. I was there in Charlotte back on Saturday for like two hours. Funny story. And then the Allegheny Vista Jet A319. This is going to come, uh, came in from Pittsburgh. Going to go off to Philadelphia. And over here is a 787, which you can't see. Alright, 787-8. Sorry about the shaky camera. It's like I can't control the bad lighting in this room. Uh, I should probably fix that later on. Anyway, 787-8. Uh, this is going to be a tough one. I don't know where to send this. We'll just send this guy over to Los Angeles. Came in from DFW. And, uh, yeah, I did. I flew one of these on Saturday as well. The, one of the newest ones. Uh, November 871 Alpha Yankee, that was like the second newest 787 in the fleet, had the whole brand new cabin, seat models and everything. Uh, flew it in premium economy, so I was like right towards the front of the wing, and it was an amazing flight. That trip report's going to be coming soon. Uh, the first one's going to be Champaign, Dallas, but then that'll be the next one, and it was such an amazing flight. So stay tuned for that. Alright, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's an American A321 down here. And this boy just came from Miami. It's gonna go to. Uh, came from Miami. It's gonna go to Dallas because I have no idea where else to send it. And then the 730-700 one road livery pushing back for. Uh, what's an American? Or let's send to Orlando. Why not? And came in from uh, Las Vegas. And over here is the American Ember 175, American Eagle Ember 175. Uh, this one came in from Columbus, Ohio. It's going to go onwards to Louisville, Kentucky. Alright, now on to the uh, other airlines. United Express CRJ 700 came in from Washington, Dallas. It's going to go back to Washington, Dallas. Uh, CRJ 550 just came from Newark. Going to go back out to Newark. Ember 175. Um, also just came in from Dulles. It's gonna go back out there. Delta Torture Chamber, aka CRJ200, came in from Detroit, and it's gonna head back out to Detroit. CRJ700 came from Minneapolis, headed back out to Minneapolis. All right, over here we got the Delta A321, just came in from Atlanta, continuing service to Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, okay, this is gonna be kind of hard because I have like more Deltas now. And I have very limited routes to do these, so I have no idea what to do. Uh, Delta 757. Uh, two and from Atlanta. Why not? Just came from Atlanta. It's going to go back out there. And then another 757. This is pushing back for Atlanta. So we'll just say we have a busy day for Atlanta. Why not? I need to figure out some new routes. If you have any suggestions, please uh, leave them below. All right, and now we got the United New Livery Takeover. As you can see, all new liveries. Over here is the 737-800, which just came 
from uh, Denver. It's gonna back out. Gonna go back out to Denver. Denver. Airbus A319 in the new livery. This just came from Newark, and it's gonna continue to Denver. Here's the 767-300 new livery operating to and from Houston. Here's the 777-200 non-ER in the new livery. It's operating uh, to and from San Francisco. And then the 787-9 new livery operating to and from Los Angeles. And that's that. All right, now on to the last part, which is the international terminal. All 777s here. We like the 777s. All my homies hate the A350. All right, so we got the United 777-300 ER. And this is operating a all-cargo flight to Frankfurt. Yeah, why not Frankfurt? I'll just say that. Uh, special visitor, Saudi 777-300ER. All-cargo flight uh, to and from Jeddah. Ethiopian 777-200LR. Another all-cargo flight to and from Addis Ababa. And then last but not least is the Emirates 777-300ER in the orange Expo 2020 livery. And this is another all-cargo flight to and from Dubai. Alright, and that's basically it. So, hopefully by the next update we'll have some actual passenger flights going out of this international terminal. That's what I have planned. Um, as far as the domestic flights go, everything is like picking up. International travel from the U.S. is kind of coming back, not too much, but it is somewhat growing. Uh, to Asia, I don't know how that is. To the Middle East, uh, at least, uh, Emirates is doing passenger flights again. Qatar Airways is doing passenger flights again. Turkish as well. I think Etihad also. But to like Cathay Pacific and Air China and China Southern, whatever their names are, um, I think they might also be doing passenger service again. Um, like uh, Japan Airlines and ANA, they're also passenger. So yeah, international flights are coming back, but they're not really as popular. Not many people are going international as they once were before the pandemic, but basically domestic flights are ramping up once again. And I mean, when I was in Charlotte on Saturday and Dallas, I was shocked by how many people were on, you know, were flying. On my Charlotte to Miami flight, it was completely full, which was so weird to see, but it was very full and I was so happy to see that. Um, but yeah, that's another overview of the entire airport. Looking pretty good, as always. Let me know what you guys want to see in the future. You know, what kind of routes or whatever. I don't know if I'll do subscriber routes yet. I haven't decided if I want to do that. I don't think I will, sadly, but that, that it is what it is. So yeah, that ends the update. It was quite short today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're new. I still have to do something for 8,000 subscribers, so let me know. I got some ideas. I need to get on top of that, make the videos ASAP. And then I got, you know, a bunch of videos coming from my Miami trip, four trip reports, and, you know, some other bonus videos coming from that trip. It's going to be so awesome. I can't wait to share it with you guys. And, yeah, I don't know when I'm doing a channel update. I'm supposed to do one, but I can't figure out when I'm going to do it. But it is what it is. But that's going to do it for the video. hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, I'm out. Thanks again. See you next time.